Hey, good morning there, blacksmiths. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's another chilly morning here in Virginia. 45 degrees in the shop. So I'm glad I got a good fire going. In this video, we're going to continue on with the uh, the welding series. And this morning, I'm going to show you guys how to take and just make a chain link, okay? That's one of the things that I like to do uh, when I'm making tripods for people's backyards. I'll, I like to make the chain that's going to hang, your pod's going to hang on, okay? So I'm going to show you how to make a link. I'm not going to do the whole process of making a chain this morning. I don't have enough of this particular material. But what I've got right here is this stock, guys, is 3 8 stock. I believe that's 3 8 and uh, or 5 16 one or the other. I'm going to take this piece of scrap metal. We're going to turn it into a chain link, and that's what we're going to, you're going to see. I'm going to be using my new tongs you see me make on video the other day, okay? That's what we're going to be doing, so stand by. This, this is not going to take very long at all, you guys. You all can get back with what you're doing. Come right over here to your anvil and turn this thing over. That ain't the prettiest I've ever seen right there, you guys. It's not perfect for change either, either guys. There's what we're trying to do, you guys, is lap that around. So you see how your two pieces come together? I switched it over, I, I struck it on that side, switched it over, that, may, that lets those two pieces come together flat, you guys. But like I say, since my anvil horn is not really sharp on the end, it's hard to do a chain like that. Guys, see how shiny that is on the inside right there where those are gonna close? That's the way it's got to be, okay? You've got to have this joint clean. If you don't, it will be a cold shut, okay? No question about it. But there it is. So let's weld it one more time. That should, that link should be stuck really good, you guys. Now you all, you'll see me go hotter than the welded heat should really be most of the time. When you see all those sparks flying, I'm really, that piece of material is actually burning on the outside. So you have to really train yourself. You know, I'm out here doing videos. Doesn't make, you know, I'm showing how to do this stuff. But if you go way beyond the welded heat, which, you know, you got, you know, a literal sparkler flying there. Then, there we go. Okay, you see the little sparks or no sparks? Come over here to the horn. Come back over here, go back to the horn. Right at the well. 
control and heat again, you guys. And this, a lot of this scale that you see is flux. Some people say you can over flux. I don't know about that. But let me straighten this chain completely up and we will take ourselves a look at it. Looks good to me. Right at the well and heat again, you guys. And this, a lot of this scale that you see is flux. Some people say you can over flux. I don't know about that. But let me straighten this chain completely up and we will take ourselves a look at it. One more heat, you guys. Chill, man. Well, you all, that's all there really is to it. You saw me make this pair of tongs here on video here just a couple weeks ago. I made them specifically for holding chain links, okay? Because them little rascals is hard to hold. Now, in another video here, when the winter time really gets here and hunting season's over, I'll go through the process of making a, a chain, okay? And I've done that before, but I'm going to do it again because I'm going to make another tripod and I'm going to be using that tripod to cook with, okay? But that's how you make a chain link, you all. That's how you weld it up. Now, remember this. When you make a chain, you want to anneal your chain, okay? You don't want to just harden the chain and throw it out there and give it to somebody to use for something. You want to anneal it so that it's soft, okay? It's, they're, not, they're not really hard at all. That's so they can take some stress without breaking that you all. May the good Lord bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day.